Today we are doing an Old Navy haul and this time I'm going to remember and I have remembered to turn off the air con. I apologize. Let's prepare. I never show you guys this side of things but um, a filming for me is not like super easy. I feel like I have to do a lot to prepare to film so let me just show you. First thing, getting some water. And This is not a Stanley. I got this at the Dollar Tree or the Dollar 99 Tree. Since I stopped last posting videos, we bought a house, which I'm in, and things have been slow rolling, just us getting um, everything situated, and the part you guys see me filming, like my backdrop, is pretty much the only fully finished, fully decorated little area. I mean, I love her, but like, <laughs> it's definitely just right here. I always try and pick like a cute little ambiance. I just like go and see what's recommended. And honestly, this first one, I'm obsessed with these. My sister always has them playing in the background and like, uh, I'm obsessed. And this is probably the least fabulous setup you guys have ever seen because since my couch and our living room is kind of in the middle and this is our entryway, there's not a ton of room for filming. So this is how I'm making it work right now. Definitely not ideal, but um, hopefully it's better than last time because I feel really bad that you guys had such a bad setup. Hopefully this time it's a little bit better and the angle is not so crappy so let's see and then i sit here and tweak with it for like so long but hopefully it's not too bad i think we have like a pretty good angle here the full body is what's going to be the problem but hi hello welcome back to my channel my name is kendra thank you so much for being here and we are just gonna hop in i have an old navy haul i only did basics so i think i only have like three outfits for you guys i'm trying to find jeans um uh, these shorts are from um, Walmart, you probably can't fully see them, but like these are the only ones that I think fit me pretty well. And I'm wanting something that's like straight leg and like kind of in the similar wash. So found a pair that hopefully fits that ticket. Um, but other than that, just like sweaters, easy basics, because even though it's like 85 degrees outside, it's starting to cool off and it's October. So I think I don't feel bad about heading into the fall season finally. So yeah, um, let's hop in. Okay, so this is not too bad. I feel like you guys can see the gist of it and then I can back up if you need to see the whole thing. So I have never felt comfortable in one of these skirts. Like this is just like a black denim skirt. There's absolutely no stretch in this thing. I got it in a size 22. But and like everyone's wearing these bright because they're doing these like cowgirl-esque kind of outfits. I grew up riding horses, so politely I'm, I won't be partaking. Um, in this like cowgirl crossover thing that's happening. It's just carrying on and on. And like part of me almost felt pressured to finally get some cowboy boots, but the other part of me said, absolutely not. <laughs> so this is as far as I'm going to go with that trend. And yeah, I think it's a pretty good skirt. The only thing, I don't love this slit. You guys can kind of see once I'm over here, like this is like, I don't know, <laughs> like just mid thigh of a slit. And it's like, if I'm going to have a midi skirt, like why have it so high? <laughs> why have this slit so high? So um, not my absolute favorite. I do think it fits pretty well. I mean, I'm plus size, I carry my weight in my stomach. So like, you're gonna see some, you know, outline, but I don't think that it's so tight that it's like uncomfortable. I have a little bit of room in the front and back. You can put a little belt with it and it would be really cute. It has a lot of potential. I just don't know if it has a place in my wardrobe if I would actually get like the price per wear out of it personally. But if you see yourself wearing something like this um, and the slit doesn't bother you as much as it bothers me, I think it'd be perfect for you. The only other thing, and I, I'm just gonna like, I don't know how comfortable it would be to sit. Maybe if you pulled it up higher, but then the slit gets higher. So sitting, uh, TBD. I don't know about that. And then I got this sweater and I got it in a extra, extra large. I think all the tops, I probably got it in this size. It is full length, which is nice. I know a lot of people are wanting the full length sweaters back. They're overcropped. But me personally, I'm, I'm a Z-lennial. I'm the oldest Gen Z and the youngest millennial kind of year. You can't get me away from the crop tuck. Like you can pry it from my cold dead hands. I just, that's what I like to do with my tops and my sweaters I just think it makes me feel the most myself I love the way it looks 
with an outfit it makes me feel a little bit more styled even if it's just a sweater i will say this one's almost too big i would think i would get a size down just so i don't have as much material or maybe i would tuck it let's see if i tuck it up if that would be a little bit better i just feel like i have a lot a lot of a lot of fabric and maybe it's just with the skirt but i don't think it's doing great things but i do like it i like the like thickness of it it's really really soft not itchy at all and v-neck i mean it's fine you guys can always layer something underneath if you're doing like a cute little white collar or if you find like a black denim collar that would be cute to do a little matchy situation but you know i, I don't always love a v-neck <laughs> yeah this is the first outfit this is also just the perfect fall color so I had, to, I had to pick up something mustard, sue me. So the thing I love about Old Navy, let me just preemptively, I love that they have basics, right? Like they give you the pieces that you can mix and match with your whole wardrobe and they're things you're actually gonna wear. It's not like the over the top piece that you're gonna have a hard time wearing other than a night out or something like that. It's, it's the simple, it's the basic. Um, and I got this because every now and again, I do like to have my arms covered. This is a good like fall in between piece I feel a little claustrophobic and I'm not usually like that, but the, the neck is a little bit tight, but that's the nature of it. It's just a little mock neck with the, I don't know, it's just like a half sleeve. It's definitely more of a conservative cut or if you're just like not comfortable with your arms. I usually am, but like every now and again, perhaps just some co like coverage just makes me feel a little bit better. This one's definitely cropped. What you see is what you get. The color I don't think is great. I get a lot of things that are white, you know, off-white, but this like oatmeal-y cream, I don't know what it is. I just, I'm not loving it. It's not my best color. It, it's not bad. And if you like this cut of top, this is fine. It's ribbed, super stretchy. Well, it's stretchy, but it's definitely more of a firm stretch. It's not gonna stretch out, which is good. These jeans, they're jeans. What's funny is the size inconsistency. So that skirt was a size 22. I had a little bit room, of room in the waist. I recently shopped at H&M. I was consistently an extra extra large, which is a 20 there. These are a size 24. And I did this on purpose because I knew there was no stretch in this. Always, always, always look at the fabric content. The higher the elastane, the stretchier they are. These, I knew they had no give just based on um, the cut and everything like that. And these are like a straight leg. I don't know, I feel like everyone's doing these, but just for me, it's not for me. A straight leg's not, like, this is almost like a straight flare. And I think it's just slightly too long for me uh, or too wide for me. I, I can do like a straight taper or just like a, a vintage straight, but these ones that are almost like boot cut or just like, column i don't know i don't know what it is i'm pretty tall and i think this makes me look short i don't know why but i don't I just don't think it's my cut of jean and these are not stretchy and they're kind of like uncomfy which not that jeans are supposed to be comfortable but this is one of the reasons that i just don't wear them <laughs> i don't wear jeans i have like a couple pairs that are my tried and true they're from madewell and those are so expensive that i'm gonna have them forever so I want to find like an economy pair of jeans that's in a cool like trendy cut, but like it's just not for me. So like I said, size 24, but these run small and they're pretty tight and I don't think, well, actually let me, these would be fine to sit in actually. Compared to the skirt, like I think these would be much easier to sit in. They do have, I think more of a stretch in the like legs than they do up here like this waistband feels like really really tight and as far as rise i would say this is pretty much a full high waist what i want like a centimeter right here maybe but like this is definitely like a high a full high rise jeans so if you like the cut if you like a more firm non-stretchy jean the color the wash is great i love this wash um i don't know backside what's going on here but it's, I don't have to see it, so it's not my problem. These could work for someone, they're just not for me. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, I, I do love this. This is winter though. This is warm, both pieces in an extra, extra, an extra, extra, in an XXL. It's cute, I like it. It's like fuzzy, soft, definitely cropped. Since it has this like smoother tapered part, easy to tuck in if you want to. It comes in at the wrist a little tighter. It's so soft. 
I don't know what cashmere feels like. It's buttery smooth. And I love this color. I'm like really into colors. If you haven't noticed the top I was wearing at the beginning, that's from Old Navy. And I just think they do a, they do a really cute color. Maybe it's because I'm in like corporate now that I think it does something, I don't know. But yeah, I really like this sweater, but it's warm. This is definitely thicker than the first one I showed you. That mustard one was like a thin fall, like in between sweater. This feels like winter. I'm, I'm sweating a little bit. This skirt, I don't know how to feel. How do you guys feel? I like it. Again, extra extra large. I think that, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder here. Um, I think that I would have to style it up. And honestly, maybe I will do a styling video with this skirt to show all the ways that you can style it. Because I like it with this sweater. Like it's definitely like cozy and I can imagine it with like a little booty, I don't know, out in the winter months. But it's not my ideal outfit for this. I think it could be better. Let's let's do a styling video. I'll show you guys some different ways to wear this that I think will be better and you'll get more wear out of a skirt like this. It's again, ribbed, super soft. It does cling a little bit. Like it's definitely stretchy, has a fully elastic waistband. So it's definitely a bit clingy, not in a terrible way, but like, you know, you're gonna see some like lumps and bumps, especially in this color. So if that's something that like bothers you and you want a more, seamless smoothing kind of look maybe this one's not for you but i i don't mind it i think it's really cute and i like the color i think this is a different color this kind of rosy brown tone is really nice and great for fall and winter so this is the outfit i have to take it off because i'm sweating and this top is my last top and i feel like it's kind of a hear me out kind of item i haven't worn a denim button down in so long obviously we're not wearing it like this i assumed I would be tying it or tucking it or again using the collar as like kind of an underpinning to a sweater or something i thought that would be really nice it is giving that cowboy i'm saying that i'm not getting into that cowboy thing but like denim i don't know denim's not exclusively cowboy but a denim shirt chambray definitely kind of gives that vibe i look a little um a little prairie girl it's fine it's totally okay but i would definitely style something like this up i would roll the sleeves i would tuck it or tie it in the front you can wear this with whatever you want you guys know how to wear a denim shirt but i just wanted to see you know it's been so long is this something i would wear i'm looking i don't know i don't know what i think it's a good fit it's definitely oversized xxl has a little pocket um it does have like the scoop in the back if that's something that matters to you it has that but yeah, I wouldn't write home about it. If it's not on sale, eh, eh, you'll probably find a different one. And it is really thin. So like super, super thin. If that also matters to you. You can also wear this open. That would be really cute. I'm not wearing a shirt under this. But you can wear this open, just some leggings, a t-shirt or a tank top. Plenty of ways to wear this. Gosh, we're getting an ad. You guys are going to see that in the back. <laughs> anyway, this is our last item. Let's wrap it up. And that's it for today's video. I feel like I want to do things a little bit differently. I want to give you guys more of a peek into my life and who I am and not just a bunch of hauls because they get old. They definitely do. And I have more to say than hauls. I have more to do than hauls. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. And if I lose some people, so sorry, you probably don't care. But yeah, I do want to transition a little bit and just revive this channel. So if you're wanting to do that, you want to stick around every Tuesday, probably at like 9 to 10 a.m. Um, and I'm gonna really, really try and stick to that and be consistent here because why not? Why not? There's nothing to lose. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next ones. Bye.